It's a busy scene at this normally quiet Brecknock Township home. Sewing machines that haven't been touched for about 10 years are now being put to use. It's just a really cool experience. These ladies are stitching together about 500 masks per day, donating them to area hospitals, nursing homes, and to those with compromised immune systems, those most vulnerable to the coronavirus. I saw the need and I just sort of jumped to it. Angela Pilot is spearheading the cause. She started out making a couple hundred with her daughter, and the idea quickly took off. This past weekend, she partnered with 88-year-old Don Quigley, who used to be a seamstress, working out of this very room for decades. That made me feel good. That's the one thing I can still do, operate a sewing machine. Within a matter of days, Don, along with generations of her family and Angela, have made more than 3,000 CDC-approved washable masks. At this point, they have the formula down pat. Basically, you're making a six by nine inch square, and you're sewing all the way around, and you're putting elastic in all four corners. But it's that extra elastic that the group is having a hard time getting a hold of. They're asking for donations of both elastic and fabric to help them keep going. They also have a GoFundMe page to offset the cost. The family says this extra work is by no means a chore. They see it as an opportunity to give back. This is what the Lord wants us to do, and. Um, just love doing it. I, I'm hoping we're helping a lot of people through it. Irene Snyder, 69 News.